What's up guys, you know who's here and this video is going to be about the diploma rings and whether I suggest them to use or whether I think they're worse to obtain them. So first of all a short introduction on what the diploma rings are and the diploma rings give a 2 of 2 set effect and this can be activated by the player himself causing a buff for 8 seconds and with this buff you decrease the overall incoming damage by 80% so in other words no matter what damage you would receive during these 8 seconds, you only receive 20% of the original damage. And the diploma rings can be bought through diplomas over here and green round. And in general you can obtain the diplomas or at least one diploma per day, per character, each day by doing this daily quest over here. And these diplomas are kind of an own currency like on the mechanical gear. And you can use these for several useful items and mainly these are for leveling and the items you can buy give you more XP if you kill mobs. And everything you buy with diplomas is not linked to your character but to your account and this is pretty good because you can't just use these items for one character but for your whole account so you can trade them between your characters. So let's continue with the diploma rings now and these rings might not seem that good considering the worst stats compared with our uh, T4 or the S3 PvP rings, but they have a pretty awesome effect, which is why many people buy and use them. So if you equip two high level diploma rings, you get the 2 of 2 uh, effect, or the set bonus I talked about earlier, and to obtain these high level rings, you have to obtain diplomas in the first place, but to obtain the high level diploma rings, you have to start with uh, the buying, no, you have to start with buying the low level diploma ring for 5 diplomas each, and after you got these, you can buy the mid-level rings for 5 diplomas each again. And after you got the mid-level diploma rings, you can uh, exchange these plus 30 diplomas for the high-level diploma rings. And if you got two high-level diploma rings and equip them, you get the 2 of 2 set bonus. For obtaining these rings, I suggest you to make use of all your characters, uh, so you can obtain them faster. So you can have 5 characters on your account, meaning you can get 5 diplomas per day instead of 1. And this will speed up the process to receive them a lot. The two rings together cost an overall 80 diplomas, so it would take 80 days uh, if you buy them with one character. But let's consider you got three characters, so that's pretty much possible for free, so you can have three characters on any account. And then it will only take 30 days to obtain the diploma rings. And no, I didn't calculate wrong, and 80 divided through 3 is not 30, I know, but the high level diploma rings you need. Uh, 30 overall diplomas on one character to buy the high level diplomas so the character 1 gathers 30 diplomas for one high level diploma ring the second character gathers another 30 diplomas for a high level ring and the third character just gathers uh, 20 diplomas for two low level diplomas which can be exchanged for you no know, low level rings and those low level rings can be exchanged for the mid level rings so overall um you receive the two rings in only 30 days instead of 80 by using three characters, which is just like not even half the time. Alright, so that was the part about obtaining them and how to receive them a lot quicker. And now let's continue with the rings and whether they are worth the effort of obtaining them. So just at the beginning the buff of the rings is just really useful for any class in general considering that receiving only 20% of the original damage is making you like invincible during that time. So any DPS and tank could survive in, uh, in dungeons easily by that for whole 8 seconds and in case the healer gets stunned, dies or whatever you can just survive on your own for these 8 seconds. And same goes for PvP, because uh, if I'm the healer and I know the DPS will go for me in the first place, sure. For sure, and especially in 4 vs 4 where there might be even 2 DPS uh, after me. It's just so useful if you receive 80% less damage. And of course this is useful for any squishy class in PvP like uh, me as a Sin. And if you go 2 vs 2 with 2 DPS and don't have a healer, you can just survive a lot longer with this. I mean the buff is almost the same as Prey, just the fact that the damage you receive during the buff is just like none and you don't get a healing uh, in exchange for that. So if you estimate any high damage incoming, whether PvE or PvP, you just activate these rings and get a pretty big advantage by that, or you even prevent your death by that. 
Alright, so this might sound pretty awesome, but there are negative aspects as well, and the major aspect is just that there are really worse stats on these rings. So you gotta consider, you get the buff once every uh, 180 seconds, so once every 3 minutes. So 172 seconds, you have a big disadvantage of having less stats while you can have then 8 seconds of getting like no damage and this is a remarkable disadvantage when comparing the loss of stats and attributes like less attack power or less healing power and spell haste and so on. So for this you really have to decide what you want. Having an ace in the pocket and surviving hard damage in PvE and being independent from your healer in PvP or you have just an overall advantage due to better stats, more uh, damage, more healing power and so on. So I personally do suggest you to obtain these rings because somewhere you will always make use of these. And it's like, my opinion on stuff like that is just, you ha obtain it once and then you have it and can make use of it at any time you need it. And my suggestion for these rings is PvE, in case you run any harder dungeon and especially if the last boss of any rising flare dungeons starts to spam area of effect damage at the end. It's just so powerful and useful if you get like no damage during 8 seconds and you can survive easily. Nevertheless, uh, this causes a general disadvantage for the rest of the fight or for like 3 minutes until you can use the rings again. I also suggest them to use them in uh, PvP, cause as a squishy class even though I don't use them with my sin, because I would lose a lot of attack power, I do suggest to use them. Um, but you gotta decide this by yourself, except uh, a little less damage during the whole fight, uh, but you, for that you just get the buff which might save your ass in some situations. So my opinion, really get these rings and decide individual. More damage during the whole fight or more healing power, or having an ace in the pocket and being able to survive any damage for 8 seconds in case you run double DPS or your healer is not that well geared. I have these rings and I used them like never in PvP except a few times when I saw I will face any high DPS or double DPS team. And in PvE I used them sometimes for end bosses and because there will just be so much damage in the end it's and if the whole team had the rings and I ran with several teams and the whole team equipped them and it was like a second prey for the team when all activated these after the prey ended. Alright guys, so this was my tutorial and my opinion on the diploma rings and how to obtain them easier, what they do and in what situations they are worth uh, considering of being used. So as always guys, put any feedback, comments, tell me what you think about these rings or for what you use them, just put it in the comments or message me. And yeah, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, I hope I'm gonna see you in the next one. So this is Taken here and stay tuned.